Hello guys, this is Mr. Surplus not here doing uh, another part to this series of videos that um, we're going to be covering um, different parts as far as reloading and I hope you guys have been following along uh, to the other parts previous to this one. Um, we started off um, on the last part already trying to prepare the cases for the actual um, reloading so what we did where we left off was um, removing the uh, primer uh, the old fired primer out of the case and cleaning the um, the uh, pocket the primer pocket okay so that's all we've done so far we've got the uh, cases here on the loading block and I remove all the primers and clean the pockets. Right now we're gonna get to the other part of the video which is annealing the shoulder part and the very beginning of the case because this, all these cases um, have been fired already like about eight times and when I chamber up the rifle and close the bolt it's a little bit harder and that means that for from so many firings the uh, brass have hardened up so now I need to anneal it just to get it uh, the, to get the, the brass soft again and um, that I can rework it more okay so all you need right now for, the, for this is just a, a, a propane torch with a tip okay um, we're gonna we have here like a little container of water with like about three and a half inches of cold water and I've been I already did about I would say about 15 cases and we're gonna go ahead and do a few here just so you guys can see the, the process remember you don't have to do this every time you um, gonna reload only if you fire depending on what cases you're using I'm using Norma depending on what cases you're using the quality of the brass um, you might be able to fire your cases three four times maybe seven eight I'm already like up to eight or ten where I'm noticing in that when I close the bolt on my uh, on the action of my rifle it's a little bit hard to do that so um, maybe if you use Remington cases um, any other brand and you notice that after three or four times of firing the cases you start, you start having problems with um, closing your bolt, chambering your, your rounds then probably it's time to anneal your, your brass okay it all depends how um, you know when you uh, try to load up your rifle how how you get what kind of feel you get to it okay so this is the way I do it with a propane torch I get a little container of water I have uh, a drill okay I have a drill um, and then I got this um, 12 uh, millimeter deep socket which since I'm reloading for 308 it fits perfect in there you can spin it Okay, so what we're basically going to do, I'm going to put the cases, it fits perfect on a 12 millimeter uh, metric um, uh, deep um, socket. So we're going to, um, this is the process and then you're going to see it how I, I, as I do it. We're going to get the case, they're ready, the primer's been removed. So you're going to put them in there. See, I, I got enough where it's going to work out perfect. Then I'm going to spin it right on the tip of the flame, putting the tip of the flame right on the shoulder and a little bit like about, I would say about 3 sixteens of where the body of the case starts. Then I'm going to go like this. All you do, you come in here to the bucket of water, tilt, it, tilt the drill forward and they will come and they will fall in there because what you want to do, you want to heat them up and then once they start turning like a bluish, um, light reddish colors most likely like a dark blue 
you are at the right temperature. You don't want to get this thing like red hot, like really, really, really red hot, because then you're going to get it too soft and it might collapse on you. So you just want to get it like a bluish, reddish color, and right away you want to dump it in the water at that instant uh, that you dump it in there, that it cools down, that's when the, uh, it, it gets really soft, the brass, okay? So, um, also what I do is after like every two cases, I will dip the whole the whole socket and this tip on the drill in the water because I eventually, believe it or not, after doing two or three cases, the heat transfer to the socket and you don't want to get the head part of the, uh, the end here, the head part of the case hot, okay? So I try to keep the socket uh, cooled um, so when I start heating it up, heating up the case, um, my socket doesn't get as hot. And then like every two cases, I'll dip the whole thing in water, maintaining my socket cool, just so the heat won't transfer to the end of the case. Okay, so that's basically the procedure. Okay, right now we're gonna go ahead and put the case on the socket. Um, I think I have the camera right uh, where you guys can see this real good. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and probably closer. Okay, I think that's perfect there. We're gonna go ahead and light up the, the torch. There we go. Okay, so we got the torch lit up. I got my cases, my block, loading block full of cases. And I have my container of water. And we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So right now, I'm gonna start doing my first case and we're gonna continue. Okay, so you start spinning it. You start getting that bluish color. Then you do the next one, you put it in here on your socket. Okay? And you start spinning it right there on the tip. Once you get that bluish color, you dump it in there and I'm gonna cool down my socket in the in the bucket of water. And we're going to put another one and do it again. Okay. That's do another one. You want to do it like that. I mean, like I'm saying, you don't want to get it too, too hot. See, see, as I dump the hot case in the water, uh, depending how I can tell if my socket's getting, um, it's getting uh, hot, I'll just dip the, you know tilt the whole thing in there and eventually the case will fall out of the socket and I'll leave my um, my socket in there just to cool it down, okay? And we're gonna put another one. Proper, it's got the proper, um, nice and cool, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do another one. This is how it will look. If, I'm gonna pull a few of them out, just so you guys can see. It'll have like that color that, I'm hoping you can see it from there. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do another one. Put it right in there. I gotta do a hundred of these guys. Oh, 
on another one. This is the best way because as you spin the drill, um, you get an even, even flow of the um, of the heat. Okay. You know the drill. This is like a variable speed drill. Not a very expensive drill, Black and Decker. But it's got the option that you can go real fast or you can go real slow as you want to. See, real, real slow or speed it up. So that's why it's good. You don't want to get a drill that is constant, like probably like uh, 1200 revolutions. So, do this one again here. We'll probably, this will probably be the last one. That's that's how you do it, guys. Annealing your um, brass cases, just so when they get a little bit too hard around the the, the uh, shoulder and the beginning of the body of the case, um, you can resize them, and they'll they'll be nice and soft, and they'll go back to its proper um, uh, setting as far as your, you know, when you bump back your shoulder. So I hope this uh, helps you, help you guys, I can help you guys out with this. And stay tuned for the next part of the, um, of the reloading process.